Rock Hill is taking steps to save the Panthers training facility project. This is after Tepper Sports and Entertainment paused construction on the site almost three weeks ago due to funding disagreements with the city. Yes, yeah, so Rock Hill City Council voted last night in support of York County's plan, so they want to offer the Panthers a new way to pay for roads and sidewalks and other infrastructure on the site. But as WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva reports, it's still unclear if that's enough to get this project going again. Now, I've had several conversations with city and county leaders, both on camera and privately, and there's a general consensus that they want this project to resume. But we have not heard from Tepper Sports and Entertainment, despite several attempts and requests to answer our questions. The Carolina Panthers training facility project site sits quietly. It's now been almost three weeks since Stepper Sports and Entertainment said it was pausing work despite already investing $170 million. Last night, Rock Hill joined York County in making the Panthers a new offer. If Depper Sports and Entertainment pays for public infrastructure like streets and sidewalks, they would get that money back in taxes the organization wouldn't have to pay for years. This is in addition to other incentives, including more than $100 million in tax breaks approved by the state early in the project. It's become more and more common for team owners to demand an awful lot of public money, um, whether it's direct money for construction, whether it's tax breaks, whether it's infrastructure. Neil DeMoss co-authored the book Field of Schemes and has reported on sports and stadium arena deals for more than 20 years. DeMoss says the Panthers project in Rock Hill is unique because it has turned into such a large development project despite not being a stadium. It would, it would be very rare for a team owner to walk away from a project after they've already sunk a lot of money into it. Usually they're going to want to try and work out some way to cut a deal. Now that the city has passed a resolution supporting the county's offer, sources tell me Rock Hill leaders are waiting for the Panthers to respond. According to the Panthers website, public infrastructure on this site would include 13,000 feet of new streets, 2,600 new parking spots, in addition to trails and sidewalks. In Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte.